outside the NRG. I'll let you for Give us a pass there. Get ready for the Reptile Division. Holla at you, boy. We finally made it to the Reptile Expo. It's going down. What else could we find today? Holla at you, boy. All right, give me a stamp. At the door. Look at that bearded dragon. It's a red one. Selling some, some bugs. Make sure you get one of these cards. I love these cards. For me, it I believe you got bearded dragons. Let's go venture into some other stuff, people. Where are we going? Are we going in like in an order or something? We're just following the line? Right? We can either follow the line or not. This guy, I believe, has triantulas. me all right how you doing in case you want to customize your enclosures you want to get some of that natural natural plants super complicated it is oh houston frogs they always got some beautiful enclosures oh snap Yeah, they these blue frogs. People like frogs. How you doing? How you doing? Wonderful, thank you. Just checking out these frogs over here, please man. Do, these are the most amazing frogs I've ever seen. That's what I'm talking about. Houston frogs. Sweet. You're somewhere in Houston, though, right? I'm actually not. I'm from North Carolina. Um, short thing with um, the Shores, Paul and Lindsay Shore. Um, Chase is right there. Chase is Houston Frogs. He invited us to come down, so we're all kind of working together and helping each other out. Awesome. You got a card I can get? I am out. Just uh, Facebook, Paul Shore or Lindsay Shore. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, man. These black and yellow frogs. Ball pythons. Look at this. Oh yeah, that's the one we want. All right, you people like pythons? Holla at your boy. Exotics, isopod. Alright, here's some of these custom custom logs. Alright, let's move on and check out something else. Alright, we made it around over here. At another stand, let's check it out. We got the QR code. Are all looking at oh the man, Venus fly trap. Alright. Uh, uh, no, we not. We not gonna touch it. Oh man, this is the one. This is the one that gets flies. What is this one called? Uh, those are Saracenias. It's a type of pitcher, pitcher plant. Yeah. And they eat flies and stuff like that, right? Yes, whatever gets down in that little pitcher. These bigger ones, you'll, you can find frogs in them sometimes. I mean, it just... Just be in there decaying. Whatever gets down in there. Thank you. Oh, cool. Beautiful geckos.
how do you determine whether it's a male or a female gecko though? Um, by the pores, underneath, across their legs, under, underside. So if they have pores, it's a male. No pores, it's a female. Sometimes the females can show a suedo pores. Yeah. I know it's easy to turn, you know, determine whether it's a rat, a male, a female, or not. Yes. So these guys, this one, he's barely dropping what we call the crestacles. Yeah. But there's a male down there, and you can see his big hole on his. Says, says openly. What do they like to stay in the dark? So they're nocturnal, and it's less stress for them. And they also fire up and fire down, so keeping them in the dark helps them bring out their true color. Thank you. That is amazing. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm KP. How you doing? Good. KP okay. Reptiles. Okay. I handle reptiles. Okay. Huh? Where are you from? I don't have a boot. I'm in uh, Houston. Okay. You know, so I just do the, the reptile handling. Oh, okay. Just coming to the expo to film. Right? Yeah. Well, something, something. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody else be like, I've never been to the expo. But I like going to the expo with you. I'll be like, oh, you know what? I got it. I got a show just for you. I got it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Oh man, let's get in on some of the wildlife. Man, I need, I just need all of this stuff. I'm gonna just put it in my enclosure. I'm gonna have a tropical rainforest. You already know, I got the oasis at the house. It's made of fake plants, but these seem to be the real deal. God, what is this? What is this? What is this? Oh yeah. Y'all accept card? Come on, I'm coming back. When the, when the camera not on, I need to buy me some of these plants. <laughs> All right, let's go check out some other stuff. Oh yeah. Tagoos. They have tagoos. Oh and there's scorpions with these good Oh yeah, you know we like the scorpions. Are they dead or alive? Be real careful not to not to not okay. Look here, look at these trench look at the trench line. Oh that's annoying. Come here. Oh man. Beautiful tagu. It's only the black and white tagu. Oh man, let's go move around. Let's get to the other side of this boot. Uh, let's get a look at a couple other lizards and everything that they may supply. Make it to the other side of this booth. Man, this is a huge gecko. Oh man. Giant day gecko. Looks like the gecko gecko. Let's go check out some other things. All right, I made it over here to Tim Tyler's Lizards. What's going on, man? What Not you got much. over here? Uh, I've got some frogs, different kinds. I've got um, red and black walking frogs. So these guys are pretty cool. So they actually secrete, um, when they're in, like getting antagonized, they secrete a milky liquid or milky mucus, and it's poisonous. Um, these guys right here are marble uh, rain frogs. They're also from, they, these guys are from Madagascar. Got some, a Pac-Man, a pixie frog. Pac-Man frogs. Yeah, so right here I've got a fantasy Pac-Man, so it's just a morph, so it's super green. Sweet. 
What's up with these chameleons over here? So these guys are real chameleons. Oh, so it's not decoration. No, not not decoration. They no, just no. out they, they out. Just, they just try to stay real still, and if you watch them when they climb, they'll actually move back and forth to kind of simulate like a branch or a leaf moving. Um, so this one, this guy right here is a male. If you look at his crest, it's significantly bigger than a female. He's right giving here. you that look, like don't touch me. Yeah. I'm gonna get you, bro. Look at his eye, he's looking backwards. Another really cool thing about chameleons, they only see 2D. So in order for them to be able to drink, they need a constant running water source. So a lot of people set up drip systems. And you gotta spray spray it yes. on them. That's why they hence the, hence the spray bottle. All right. Let's go check out a couple of the things they got. Apparently they got geckos somewhere. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, man. All right, we over here at the geckos. What kind of gecko is this? Yeah. That's a leechianus. A leechianus? Yeah. Looks like a log. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do these bite? Uh, they can, but they don't normally. Really looks like this looks like they're pretty handleable. This looks like a snake. <laughs> where, the, where the tail grows back from is to how successful they are for it. Man. If you know, let's say it breaks off here the first time, yep. and then the next time it breaks here, and the next time it breaks further up, you know, it, it grows back cartilage, not bone. And so they don't, it doesn't have the fracture plane to break the next time around. So All right, let's get a look at some of the snakes they have. All right, everybody likes snakes. All right, check out the snakes they got. tail breaks off, there'll be like fingers of muscle sticking What's up with the snake? What does he want? Right? That snake is senior. Yeah. Right? Maybe I should come back and buy one of these things. These things. Oh, I like this one. Hey, look hungry. Y'all not feeding them today? So not sure, huh? Be another live feeder. <laughs> Said not in front of the people, huh? Don't freak out. We didn't know what she was buying. Oh no, I should. Let's get one of the cards. All right, people. Check them out. Uh, Alright, let's go get a look around. Alright, let's go. Alright, so I made it made it around to another boot. Kicks balls. What? Alright, that's what it says. You people seen it first. Let's go check out some of the stuff they got. Right, got some pythons. Oh man. Oh yeah. Only 500 bucks. People could afford that. You know you got that big money. Holla at your boy. It's your boy KP from KP Reptiles checking out the expo. Right? That is their name. Holla at your boy. Alright, let's check out some, some of the reptiles they got. Oh, they got a mangrove. It's only 185 bucks. Oh, here go the legless, the legless reptile. Well, it looked like they're cracking. Look at it. It's moving around. Let's throw. There's the wood Look at the tagoos. Oh, look at that iguana. 
What's up, bud? It's a cool red iguana. Oh, well, he's an orange. Translucent. Wow. All right. They got a pancake tortoise. Look at that boy. That is cool. I thought the tortoise is only the pancake ones only stay in the water, but apparently they don't. All right. Let's get a look around him. A couple of the habitats they have over here. Uh, we made it around. What do we got in here? Oh, you could want to see a giant turtle. Turtle in the box. Right? That's a big turtle. Right? And he eats lettuce. That's all he does, right? Lettuce, other vegetables and stuff. All right, you're welcome. Just at least be a little mindful. Like some of the things I do, I do feedings, I do handlings, and I do the behaviors of carnivores. So if you're interested in learning what carnivores do, huh? Oh yeah? And he got a Godzilla shirt. Yeah. I can give your mommy a picture of the car. Yeah. See, see this, one of my, this one of my alligators here. Very cool. He's got alligators too. Yeah, alligators and dwarf payment. You know, a couple now monitors. So check it out. Just be mindful. They yes. eat. They eat other animals. Yes, I will. I do my best to watch what they're watching on YouTube. Well, so I it's can be like, hey, we're gonna pause. It's educational because I got I got clips of uh, the behaviors and a couple tips okay. on how do you handle your monitors and stuff okay. like that. Okay. It's just real life examples of yes. having exotic pets. Yes. Now I love them. <laughs> now, it's not just feedings all the time, but you know, it's handlings, and it's not always live. So. Okay. In case you don't want to see a duck yeah. go down, because that was one of my last videos. <laughs> but they sell the ducks at the store. You buy your reptile here, yep. you go to the feed store, they say, give this to your reptile. Yeah. And that's, that's all you get. Yeah, sure. And everybody's like, that's so horrible. That's I just picked right. up a camera, they told me to do it. Right, they told me yeah. to do They told me to do this. They said you had to do this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not on me. Right, I know, my kids are like, daddy, why do you keep doing that? We bought him for the sole purpose of throwing him in there. Right. Now, if we kept buying rats and buying, there'd be rats all over the house. That's this right. thing is preventing rats from being everywhere. That's right. Look at That's, right. <laughs> That's hilarious. Right? And the roaches. And yes. roaches, yeah. Yes. All right, y'all. Don't want those everywhere. Don't want those. I know, right? They definitely got to go. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you have a nice day. Oh, snap. All the way in New York, yeah. About 20, three and a half hour drive. Giant meta, meta turtle. He's looking at me right now. That's it. Did you pick him up? All right. Oh, what? He straight up went for it. But they bite good. They bite, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, snap. Super long neck. Be able to reach around on you. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be the dragons. This all just depends on how you pick Everybody else have their own reptiles here. How you doing? Like if I were to really go in and like make sure I have him before I pick him up, he's not gonna freak out. But like just to show you guys, like pick him up, they freak out a little bit. It's all about the support. I just meant like in reaction to the other animals. They don't really. They don't really. He's just gonna do that. He knows. <laughs> He's gonna like, chill. He knows. It ain't awesome like having man. a common snapper turtle, yeah. huh? Oh yeah. Yeah, I got I got a big one. Awesome. All right, let's get around to everything else at the convention. Let's see what we got, people. Excuse me. All right, we're just walking around taking out the pythons. Oh snap! Just chameleon. Careful going from the top, as it scares them. They think it's a bird coming after them. What type of chameleon is it? This is an Ambalobi panther chameleon. An uh, Ambaloni? Ambalobi. Ambalobi. And how much is one like that? 600. Beautiful. Shoot, for one that color, that's fairly cheap. 
Okay, it's a good size. He's about seven months. Um, several of them we've got here in the four month range. Um, this guy will get a, about a third again bigger than this, and then he'll be done growing. And how long do they live? They live about seven years. Um, 18 months they've done growing. The you know, 10 to 15 mostly crickets a day. Until they're full, until they're grown, and then you cut it back every other day. All right, let's go check out some other pythons at the event. Thank you. <laughs> what else do we have over here? Seems like they got tortoises too. Everybody's got those tortoises. Tortoise must be in this year. Look at those babies. Oh snap, the iguanas. Everybody loves iguanas. Even my nom on it is like iguanas. Made it over here at Bug Basement. Look at all these bug containers. Some pretty cool bug containers. These guys are hard to find because they don't care. Right, got more roly polies. I'm all right. So what we got over here? Isopods and bioactive supplies. Isopods. Yep. In case you want your confinements to look all fancy. <laughs> right? They make great janitors for bioactive things. So these are, what other animals these would go with though? They can go with mostly anything. It just kind of depends on uh, the species you pick up. We got our air intolerant species with the prunosis, the dialed giant canyons. Over on the other side, and we got some uh, tropical hardy stuff like the scabers or dwarf whites. Yeah. So, crested geckos, people do bearded dragons, snakes, pythons. Yeah, I got now monitors. So, monitors? Yeah. Yeah, it says, hey. They'll eat them. Yeah, things do eat them. <laughs> <laughs> the plants, oh, nice. the plants would only remain. <laughs> <laughs> Them to the side, so we add them back whenever we notice. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's cool, man. Awesome. You got a YouTube channel? Yeah. Sweet. I'll be happy to uh, look you up and subscribe. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. In case, case y'all want to do it, you know, I'll let you know. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, people like these things. Cool. Yeah, they like them so much the way you're here. Huh? I know. Yeah, see? <laughs> yeah, we, we did their um, show in West Palm Beach because we're from Florida. Yeah. Everybody's here from Florida, huh? It's weird, right? <laughs> I did not expect to see my, so many Floridian vendors. Welcome to Houston. Yeah. <laughs> Check out some other places. <laughs> All right, so we got a pie. We got a. What type of snake is this? This is a my Brooks King snake, and uh, this is my jungle carpet python. A jungle carpet python? Yes, sir. Why is it called that? Uh, I'm not completely sure of that. Uh, but they're, she's, they're actually from the jungles of Queensland, and, which is actually located in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> so it's an Australian snake. Yes, sir. What did Australian what did, python. What do they eat? Uh, large rats, about the size of my hand. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Snake's so nice, you can touch them. All right. Go check out some more beautiful animals at the expo. 
Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. couldn't, just couldn't help. It. I had to touch it. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, made it over here to another boot. Hi there. Thank you. If I waited you out with the camera, you at least know who I am. Right. <laughs> this must be just your table. No, no, no. I'm just he looks like checking out the, uh, Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody's got the phone on the stage. A little bit of somebody's got somebody's got to do it. It's true, true. Oh man, the black pearl. Look at their merchandise. You can't tell me that merch ain't awesome. Excuse me. Can everything go through? I've just got to charge his card. I'll take his weight and see his weight. Can you give me his tag? All right, let's go check out the rest of the stuff. All right, looks like they do awesome knitting and stuff like that. Some master class knitting right there. Used to making a sweater. No idea how they made that. Definitely the coolest. See their prices. Questions, concerns, problems, don't reach out to anybody else. Call us. We answer every single time. Don't take just call us. Email us, text us, whatever. Alright, let's check out the rest. What else we got? Excuse me. Don't too Snap, we're holding gators over here. We at the expo. What type of alligator is that? That's a Nile crocodile. A Nile? So right now he'd be raising his mouth if he was un untaped. Yeah. I just do that to keep him from biting people, just in case, because he's still can he's small, but he can still hurt you. I bet that's not small. That's a <laughs> look. Look, I play with the tiny ones, and them tiny ones I almost take a finger off. I'm talking about blood every time, though. Yeah. All right, you at the expo, you want to take a picture with this crocodile? Holla at your boy, man. All right. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. All right, let's go check out some of the, some of the other items. Check out them tagoos. I know, right? Just me again. <laughs> Watching out, letting you get a picture. It's KP again, and you're in your ear, just right there, narrating it. <laughs> Some big tagoos. You want an adult tagoo? Let's make it to the other side. I believe they have turtles. All right, made it around over here where the turtles are. How you doing? Oh man, I believe they got big turtles in the box. There's a guy holding a baby turtle. Right, you come to the expo, you know you can touch animals. You know, some people want to see the animals or the reptiles they want. I'll let your boy, people. It's boy KP. Oh, snap. What's going on, man? You're doing all right. What's, what, what you all about over here, man? Lots of tortoises, man. We, we got plenty of tortoises. You're the tortoise man. I'm the tortoise king. All right, let's check out some of these tortoises. Yes, what, yes. what we got? These are leopard tortoises. They, there's a kind of a daddy. He's, made, like, he's on the other side there. I don't know if you can see him. He, oh, snap. That's how, that's how they look when they get bigger. And then we got some um, cherry head. How uh, long did it take for him to get that big, though? Um, Ten years. 
Oh, I love that turtle. We kind of got that kind of Oreo. That is an amazing turtle, dude. Yeah, man, they're cool. I, I like them. They, they, they mow my grass. I don't have to mow. <laughs> they, they, they eat, like, when they get big, they're cooler right there. Yeah, because they're, they're chill. They look like they want to be on top of each other. Yeah, yeah. They just, a little warm weather, some grass, some lettuce. And you just let them outside. Yeah, let them outside. Just so. Let me get, you know, a little bigger. All right, thank you. Pretty cool, chill pet. I can touch these at the bottom, right? Sure, yeah, th those get big. Those are, those are like the uh, second largest in the world. What's up, man? How are you? Uh, what you got? Uh, it's a, uh, it's a cherry head of a truck. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a farm raised. Nice. Very those nice. are Burmese blacks. Uh huh. I got them on my table all the way there in the corner. I'm not selling them. Right. Here, you see him before. Where are you at? I'm all the way in the corner back there. Not really, really, but if you went back there, you'll find Alright, let's get a look at some of the other. How much are your now monitors? What? How much are the now monitors? Uh, How you doing? Oh, snap. You already know, they got now monitors. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta check them out. Gotta get them in there. Right? Gotta, <laughs> Gotta catch them all, huh? <laughs> all right, let's go check out some other. Oh, man. What kind of turtle is this? Galapagos. Oh, yeah. I want one of these black turtles. I might need to come back. All right, people. All right, made it over here to another boot. All right, let's check them out. I got the coral snakes. Oh, snap. Everybody's got those geckos. He's over there building custom enclosures over here. Custom. How you doing? Pretty good. Yourself, what, do, what do we got over here? What do we got? Mixture of reptiles and invertebrates. I specialize more in invertebrates than I do anything else. Uh, what is that? Uh, Things like that. Oh, snap. What kind of spider is that? Egyptian huntsman. So you specialize in triantulas and spiders? And I do. I'm an invertebrate guy. Now, what a Mexican fire leg at? Everybody's got one of them. I don't have that, but I got an Ethia. Oh, it's not pretty close to the same thing. Pretty close. We're not touching that one. This one, no. Done and shoot hairs or something like that at this you? This will kick hair at you pretty quick. As, as a defensive? <laughs> yeah, I don't want that hair at me. He'll be up there sneezing. No, <laughs> I've got a bad reaction to it. So. Oh, man. Hey, but we love them, though. Yep, sure do. All right, holla at your boy, people. Well, we can even call them or text them. Nah, we gotta, we gotta get the number right. Nah, you got it. Holla at your boy, people. Let's go check out some more. All right, caught a couple decorations. Ooh, man. Look at these. Fossilized stones. Shock too. All right, we got all kind of crystals and fossils over here, people. Fairly priced over here, man. All right. Got some more fake plants. You know, I love the fake plants. Say buy two, get one free. And a spray bottle. Alright, so they got a good round of supplies. This guy even has a reptile on his head. Excuse me. 
get a wide variety of reptile supplies over here. So I guess they sell you the supplies that you need. Tree frogs and scorpions. And they're big on the supply in you. Closures. Now, why did you choose the first? Yeah. Sorry. I'm just getting out of here. All right. Let's see what they got on this other side. Oh, man. We made it over here to the side, and they got, they got reptile art over here. Oh, man. Let's check, let's check them out. Even the car is beautiful. Right now, you know, we got it. Got a slide you want to. Got the artist here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got it. We got it. So, what are we about over here? We're taking, we just, can you paint them or? Yes. Draw them up? Yeah. No, I might need some, some art. I need some stuff done on my wall. So, when I'm, I'm, I'm up here doing my channel, you know, it could say KP Reptiles and I could be like done by the artist. Nah, for real, in the backyard, in the back background. Put it on the background. Yeah, some of my friends do that. Yeah, just put KP Reptiles on it or sign it right at, right at the bottom. Say you got the names of KP Reptiles. Come in there and look at some of my reptiles, the dwarf caimans. Take a couple pictures of them, put them on the wall. Nah, for real. Label them, you know, because I got their names already. You know, you Blaze, Razor, you know. Buddy. You make a cartoon picture of them. Yeah. yeah. My mom was really talking about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I need that. Your hand at you. You see that money. Oh, man. Say <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Thank you. But they're not, they're not, you know, fairly priced, right? Fairly, fairly priced. Big ones are 75. I want, I want, I want the cracker. That cracking. one's a little heavier duty. That's like 200. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want, I want something like that. Yeah, yeah sick. Yeah, like that. We need to talk. With the skull and everything, like... With a reptile coming out of the, the eye, I mean like a, a bug or something coming out the thing. Like a bone. Yeah, I like that. I like my bugs. Yeah. I'm a Beatles fan. Yeah. All right. So thank you so much. I'm gonna I'm gonna call you up. I got your number. Where are you located? Halfway between Houston and San Antonio. Oh, I could drive. I could drive. I got a big truck. It's Houston. Look at. Right. Thank you so much. Take care. All right. All right. We made it to this other one. Oh, man. It's cool. Let's make sure we get one of these carts. Oh, man. I want your enclosure to look like this. I mean, if I got a tank, it'll, it'll come out just like this, right? Or you just do it in the glass like this? I mean, I've seen some really good ones and some, you know, not as creative. So this is just the art itself? In the jar? Living art. Yeah, they're living. Oh, so they're all alive. It's a self-sustaining ecosystem. There's microorganisms in the soil that break down the plant plant life and rejuvenate the soil for the rest of the plant. All the moisture you need in here, so you never even need to open it. So you don't have to open it. Because yes, I want to be able to like set what that looks like in the reptile confinement. But yeah, but we, I mean, we don't recommend putting any, yeah. anything. But you can do like rolling poles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I got heat lamps. I got the UV bulbs. Oh, I got. I, I want that, but I want to be able to get in it and be like, oh, yeah, holla at your boy. You know, I got this exotic tagoo. Check me out. Like that, you know, but it's in the glass. Yeah. Don't put no tagoo in there. <laughs> oh, snap. Tupper. Black snake, this is. Someone tried to sell me a carpet. I just seen this baby, so this guy is actually selling his oranges and his red. Wow. Where are we going 
Oh, snap, Taurus. He found another one that's white. And, and yeah. Colored. Of course, he did. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. Got the Savannah monitors. Oh, snap, I got the now monitors. Ball python. Specific female. All right, let's go look around and check out some other some other things they got. Oh, and you want to eat? You always know they got food at the expo. Wait for the show to start. It starts in a little bit. this boot I get one of the cards and see what they see what this boot is but I believe they have a lot of interesting things <laughs> all by himself How you doing? Good, and, you? and what stand is this? This is uh, crested geckos with enclosures. Crested geckos. Yes, sir. We are JNC printers. We're actually in the middle of a rebranding. Uh, um, I like that eye on there. Thank you. I hand drew that myself. What? <laughs> Just let me know when you're ready, okay? Thank you very much, dear. KP from KP Reptiles. Hey, we love to see your videos. If you never heard of it. Uh, a lot of videos. Yes, I think so. Uh, but again, we watched so many videos, it's just not even funny. I know, right? There's so many people out there that do videos nowadays. But, so. but you're in one now. Hey! What? Welcome to the party! Alright, so are you on Instagram? I'm not. We, uh, we pretty well stick to Facebook. Because I'm not a social media person. Why? I hate social media. I didn't even start my Facebook until we started the business, and I only did that because I knew it was what was needed for my business. But then to expand your business, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna have to. I don't know. We're doing pretty good as it is. Um, we've actually quadrupled our 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 adults that we breed and we work with our program. Uh, in the last two years, so we're doing pretty good. A lot of people know us just because we are charismatic. We do get out there and we put the gecko in kids' hands. We, right. we make the effort to properly educate people. Or at least let them touch it, touch it and stuff. They handle it. Exactly. We do our own little tutorial right here in the middle of the show. And yeah, look, she got to get back to work. Let's go see what her handler got going on. How you doing? Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> yes. Oh man, they're out here letting letting kids handle the reptiles. You over here at the expo? You want to touch a gecko? Touch a gecko. Come holler at your people, man. This guy will tell you all about geckos. Everything so, you need to know. It's a crested gecko. They come from New Caledonia. That's in the northeast coast of Australia. And uh, until 1994, these actually were present on the extinct list. No. They are not only flourishing in the wild, but in the pet market, we have got them flourishing as well. But do they have eggs, or do they just come Two out? eggs a month. Rough. Very rare. Can I try it? Absolutely. All right. Look at this. All right. Animal's so nice, you can sit over there and hold on to. You know, in the right. variety. Our lily white over here. Camera Such a variety man. within the animals. You can have this type of coloration. 
Yeah, you can also pop out with something on the total other end of the scale. Oh, snap. Good right. people all around here. And let me know, people can come check them out. All right, thank you so much. Hey, thank you. too. I'll see you around. I'll hey, you let me know. I'll, I'll be filming the whole time. We'll turn this out. <laughs> I, I like that. I got you. I know, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll see you around, man. Thank you. All right, let's go. We're going the wrong way. All right, we got to get to the middle of this thing, people. I'll let your boy. This your boy, KP from KP Reptiles. What's going down? That boy got the reptile shirt. All right. MB Exotics. What do we got? Oh, my goodness. This is definitely some exotic material. Scorpion. I ain't got the yin yang. Oh, baby. The frog development chart. Oh, my goodness. You cannot beat these things. Look at this. Look at that beetle. How y'all doing? All right. Man, I want that crab. Oh, yeah. Look at them bats. Fossilized Hercules beetle. Excuse me. All right. All right. Look at it. Oh man, that that is beautiful. You know he's got. He's on top of the flower. Right. That's a cool tree. How you doing? Hello. So what do y'all do over here? Fossilize animals or what? We just resell them. But the, the guy that makes them, he'll uh, farm raise them all and then whenever they die off, he puts them in the resin. Yeah. And then sells them wholesale to people like me. So it sells them to people like <laughs> me? Well, at least you got an artist behind you, but you know like what I'm the, saying? These like the Japanese wasps and the murder hornets. Yeah. He'll, he'll import those and then all the bats are Asian, so he'll import the Asian the bats too. Yeah, I already got the bats. Yeah. But look at that chain. How much do these go for? They're uh, eight dollars each, or three for twenty, and then you can mix and match. Like, okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm coming back. <laughs> Look at oh, this, no problem. Right? I need, I need the reptile earrings. Oh, we don't have the earrings. <laughs> oh, what? You know what I'm saying? The scorpion. I need the scorpion tail to hang from my, hang from my ear. I know. <laughs> yeah. Or the, or the, or the wallet keychain where the reptiles hanging oh, yeah. on the chain. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. that's my wallet. <laughs> yeah, cause see, look, you got the arm, you got the armbands. No. How much are the armbands going for? They're all the same. All the jewelry on both these tables is eight dollars or three for twenty. Three for twenty dollars. I'm putting this on. I'm putting this on. All right, I think I'm in love with these chains. Can't stop looking at them. Can't tell me these guys ain't got the most amazing chains. Three for twenty. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's going down. What type of necklace should I get now? It's definitely the ones I like. How you doing? You all right? Come on. Yep. Tell me, so you know I gotta get those, I gotta get those out. <laughs> Want to see yourself on the internet, right? Want to be on there? Holla at your boy, man. You got an Instagram, Facebook. Holla at him. Best dressed in the expo. I'll tell you this. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. See y'all later. All right. What about this one? Oh, man. That's the same thing. She got that dinosaur tooth. Are they all real? Are they all real? That's a dragon. All right, people, we'll definitely be back. You'll see me rocking one of these chains in a minute. But I got the rest of the expo to check out. Let's go. 
Oh man, you know I can't miss the coolest, coolest spot over here. Wicked pink exotics. Right? Right? Wicked pink and it's got